Okay, so this video is totally not turning out to what I wanted it to be. So, today we are going to talk about military appropriate styles, if locks are permitted in the United States Army, and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Yeah. Mama for birth me, I had a crown. Yeah. 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 This is my destiny plaguing now. So I've had a, quite a few people, and I'm sorry, y'all, I'm kind of starting this video in the middle of my head. It's, it's been a crazy day, but um, a lot of people ask me a bunch of questions about my locks, um, especially with me being in the military. And I'm not going to lie to you, y'all. I am not like the total hula hula soldier meaning I know every regulation, like it's the back of my hand and I'm the ultimate sergeant and all this, this and that. I do pride myself, pride myself on being a good sergeant, especially I'm there for my soldiers. I know what I need to know. Um, and some stuff with being a reserve soldier is just, if it's not repetitive, of course we have to refresh ourselves on. So I say all that to say, you know, I don't want anybody to jump down in my comments and well, per AR 670-3662, you are wrong, okay? I'm not going, I'm not gonna say I'm not going by the books and in the real army, you don't go by the books because you do. However, comma, things change so much when it comes to hair and hygiene or, you know, uh, what, what word am I looking for? Appearance regulations, so to say. And that changes a lot, especially for black girls. And the reason I say that is because some years ago when they start trying to play around with changing regulations for hair and nails and all this, this and that, I feel like, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other black girls because there was a lot of black girls in my unit, we all felt like attacked. Like they were getting rid of two strand twists. You couldn't have this, you couldn't have that. Braids had to be a certain amount, like you couldn't have, it was all cornrow this and natural hair this. And it's like, y'all can't be talking to the white girls. Y'all can't, or the Caucasians, you know. Y'all can't be talking to the Hispanic women per se, because granted, they do wear cornrows, but not like us. They don't wear two strands twists and all that. So around the time when all that changed, they did kind of forbid locks in the military. And per my understanding, just by going off of what people have said, I will say that, going off of what people have said, meaning our chain of command at the units I was at when all of this took place, it is a lot of styles, period. A lot of things that you do to your hair is your chain of command. It's like their discretion, at their discretion. So if they choose to fault you on it, if it rides a thin line, they have the ability to do that. So with that, it's just, I felt like even with being a natural at one point in the military, I relaxed my hair just because I was tired of what people thought was regulation and what they didn't think was in regulation. Like I used to wear my TWA and when that really first started like popping off in like 2012, 2013, 2014, some of my NCOs at that time were telling me that my hair was out of regulation when it really wasn't. So I say all that to say, like, I'm not gonna say locks are or are not in regulation because it's confusing. Because one at one moment, the AR670-1 uh, will say that, you know, we can have locks. And then I looked it up not too long ago and it says that we couldn't. But I got my locks, I would say like a year, you know, you guys know how long I've been having my locks, like 16 months or whatever the case may be. Um, yeah, and I haven't had anyone say anything about my locks. There are plenty of women in my unit, in the neighboring unit, in my building who also have locks. Now I will say all of us do keep our locks well put together. They are always styled off our collar and our headgear is able to fit comfortably um, and without, you know, distracting it. So I don't know if we don't get anything said to us because of that, but I have locks and I'm in the Army Reserves. And 
Some people have inboxed me and told me on social media that my locks are out of regulation and I don't respond <laughs> because like I said, it changes so much. So with that, I am going to move on. That's where I'm at. No one ever says anything about my locks. I'm not gonna say do or don't get locks. However, if you're in the uh, army and your reserves, even if you're active duty, cause I have active duty friends that have locks. Girl, get your locks. Now, if you a male, you cannot have locks in the military. Males cannot have hair whatsoever. It has to be cut. It has to stay well put together. So you guys cannot have locks whatsoever. But if you are female in the army and you want locks, girl, get them. Secondly, a lot of people ask about styles or appropriate hairstyles that you can wear in the military. And majority is these pipe cleaners that I'm actually doing right now. I love two strand twists when I'm in uniform. It, the only thing is I have not perfected my two strand twist and I feel like if I'm not sure on if I'm gonna cut my locks or not, which I'm still standing on, I really don't know y'all. Like I don't know, I, I don't know. I have to give myself a little more time. I'm not gonna make any spare of the moment decisions, but as of right now, I don't know if I'm gonna cut my locks. So I feel like going to my lactician would be pointless because I wouldn't have her two strand twist my hair. And the protective styles that I can wear in my hair, I can do without having to pay somebody to do. Like these pipe cleaners, which are great for a uniform. I could have braided my hair. So I do do braid outs on my hair. And if I'm going to drill, um, sometimes I will do a braid out on my hair and keep the braids up and it's easier to put in a bun. And that's a lot of people's questions, especially the women who have locks that's already in the military. I wish I knew like by mind or I wrote down you guys' names, but um, it's been quite a few people or females in the military who just are starting off their locks and they are not sure you know what styles they can wear as their locks grow out because there is a certain size your bun has to be and it cannot exceed so with having a lot of hair you know we might have a big old bun <laughs> sitting on the back of our head and that can be a red flag regardless to what hairstyle you have let it be braids micros you know box braids your real hair your bun cannot be over a certain size so with that, like I said, braid outs, uh, braids, two strand twists, those are really easy styles, protective styles, one to protect your hair because with being in the army as well, we take on and off our Kevlar a lot. We take on and off our headgear a lot. So these are great protective styles as well, just to doing your hair. Like today is Monday and I don't go to drill into this weekend. Now I'm doing these right now because my hair is brown and I have black pipe cleaners. And if it shows too much up on the end, I'm gonna take these down and then my curls would be easier to put in a bun, which I would hate if I have to do because my curls don't last as long if I put them in a bun or pull them back in a ponytail. And I'm tired of pulling my hair in a ponytail. Like my edges are really suffering from it. I have thin edges to begin with. People telling me I don't have edges or talking about my edges, y'all, I do not care. Trust me, I don't. Um, but I feel like ponytails with these locks are really contributing to pulling my edges out. So I don't like pulling it in a ponytail. However, comma, if your locks are ponytail length, put your hair in a ponytail and finesse a bun. Trust me, a bun is not as easy with locks as it is with like loose hair. So you might need a couple big rubber bands, big ponytail holders. I even use uh, the headbands that go like up here, like this right here. This isn't a ponytail holder. This is one of those headbands that you will put up here. But I use that, you know, this ponytail holder, and I might use like some big rubber bands to finesse my bun. Some people have to like sew, like get a needle and thread and sew their hair down. It's completely safe if you do it right. Curls, braid outs, or braids, twists, and also getting your hair styled. Some locticians, now, let me rephrase that. I always let my locticians know that 
this is just too thin for my liking. I always let anybody that's in my hair, work on my nails, whatever the case may be, I always let them know that, you know, I'm in the military and stuff has to be military friendly. So that is the same when it comes to your styles. Let your lactician and everyone know that, you know, you're in the military, your style, your headgear has to fit. Take your headgear with you when you go get your hair done. I know plenty of women who do that. I am one of them. Take your headgear when you go get your hair done and ask them to, you know, finesse a style or create a style that will fit under your headgear. I know a lot of people do their locks themselves, but it's just so many reasons on why you should at least see a loctician at least once every three months, six months. If you're in the military, go to them. They can help you achieve styles on your own if they're the loctician to where you can do it at home in between time coming to them to where you can get your hair appropriate for in uniform. In uniform, just remember that your hair has to be up off of your neck and it cannot interfere with the proper wearing of your headgear. As long as those bases are covered, of course, no crazy colors, no jewels, things of that sort, you are going to be fine. If you have black locks, black pipe cleaners are perfect. My locks were once black. Now, I had someone ask me if they thought it was a good idea to get their starter locks before they go to basic training. And just in my opinion, I am going to say no. And the reason I'm going to say no is because you're not gonna have any time to take care of, take care of your hair and your locks. If you already have mature locks, do I feel like you need to cut your locks off? No, will they make you cut your locks off? Yeah, I cannot really answer that question only because I went to basic training 10 years ago. So basic training from now to then, yo, totally different. Like some of the stuff I hear that they let people do or let these soldiers do, we could not do at all in basic training back when I went. So I'm not sure if you know, they accept you to have locks or not in basic because when I went, you could not and people had to cut their hair. So I'm not gonna answer that one. That one I would just say, do your own research, maybe re reach out to your recruiter or a recruiter and um, ask that question because I really cannot refer, you know, I can't tell you the honest truth, and I don't want you to be like, well, she told me to, and now I got here, and I got to cut my locks. Nope, 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 nope. I don't know. I had, haven't been in basic since 2010, so I have, like I said, I went to basic 10 years ago. So I got all of the back done, and I will show y'all. I have two mirrors, so I'm going to look to... Yeah, that don't look too bad. I just have to shape them. But I got the back done. Now for this part. And I braided this part and sectioned it off separately. One, because I like to do some of these individually. And I want to see how many more pipe cleaners I have. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 13, 14, 15, 16. So I have 16 more left. And let's count them. Thirteen. Okay, I'm sure I have enough. I have enough to do what I want to with these up front, and that's always my goal. So I'm gonna spray this down real quick. Now, when I got a retwist and I do these, y'all, I love them so much. If I had to advise on a style to wear to basic training for my African-American girls, if your hair is natural and it's able to be French braided, I just say go loose. And the reason I say go loose is because you're gonna be bumped 
with anywhere from 30 to 60, 45 something type of females. You know what I'm saying? Maybe 15 to 30, maybe I'm over exaggerating, but you're gonna be bumped with a bunch of females depending on how your basic is set up. You're gonna come across a braider, period. Like there's always somebody there that braids. And not being funny, if I could do it all over again, I would have went with loose hair and I would have just kept two to four French braids going to the back. You can do that, keep your hair up and French braid it for like a week at a time. Wash it within the braids, of course, if you need to, if you feel like you've sweat that much, too much that day and all of that. But literally go loose and just braid it. That's the safest to me, the quickest, the way you can literally, you know, take care of your hair because you're not gonna have time to really take care of your hair. You need something that you can put up, put away, and do what you went to do, which is go through basic training. You wanna make that as easy as possible for you. Let that be at the end of the day. It's quicker for you to go in, get a shower. Let that be because, you know, it, it, it's just easier. Um, I wore micros when I went, and I would not suggest that because I caught a infection in my scalp in the, in the front, and I really needed to take out my micros to get good in my hair, and I didn't in the beginning. Then when I finally took them out, it was like it ate away at my like hair. I don't know, I can't explain it, but I lost hair up there and everything, so. I would just say go loose. Don't do not wear box braids to basic training. Do not wear a lace front. Do not wear a quick weave because it's not going to last. You want something that is going to last and not being funny. That might just be your natural hair. And like I said, you'll find a braider. Or if your hair is long enough for a ponytail, baby, you better just do the ponytail in the bun. Get you an old sock cut the tip off of the sock where your toe goes and roll it up. Y'all know what I'm talking about, that old school 90s stuff. Roll it up, put that on your ponytail to the back and boom, there you have it. That is like the traditional go-to military, you know, style for women of any race anyway with long enough hair. So, and then also if you're thinking about doing like a big chop and you feel comfortable rocking a TWA because you're not gonna be able to do anything. Get your nails done, your eyebrows arched, your hair gonna grow out everywhere. Like you're gonna be a whole mess. You're you're a soldier, you're training. Who cares what you look like? If you're thinking about doing a big chop or if you have a TWA, that is perfect. Like it was so many women that cut their hair off before they went. And I'm not saying you have to or need to. Some women shaved their heads, some women wore TWAs. Now, now I will say with regulation now, us as women can only have our hair so short. Like we can't rock a fade like the men. I can't say that. They do not allow that. So yeah, what else can I say about locks in the military? Just make sure you upkeep your locks. I don't feel like freeform locks will go well in the military because, and don't get me wrong, I'm not judging anyone with freeform locks, but from what I've seen, freeform locks are less put together and less maintained. And that is against any type of hairstyle in the military in a sense, period, because you have to be well put together and you have to look presentable in uniform. And I'm not saying that freeform locks are not presentable, it's just per military regulation, it's an unkept hairstyle and it's not, it's not permitted, so. Sister locks, I actually see a lot of women with sister locks in the military and I won't lie, if I do cut off my locks and start my journey again, I do plan on either doing sister locks or micro locks. I think that I would like those and enjoy those more. Don't get me wrong, I've enjoyed these locks to the fullest, these medium thick ones, but I have anxiety really, really, really bad. And when I see thin locks pop up, y'all, it, it, it does something to me. It makes my skin crawl, I get nervous. I be like, combine, combine, combine. And I don't wanna keep combining and losing locks. Like, that's not, that's not the jig, okay? That's, that's just not. So if I do get, um, if I do cut my hair and get locks again, they're gonna be micro or sister locks. Medium locks, thick locks, 
medium to medium locks like mine I've seen in the military. I have not really seen really big thick locks in the military. I think those will be harder to upkeep, be up to par for the military taste per se. So I haven't really seen those, but like I said, sister locks and like my size locks are really common in the military that I've seen. Of course, it's majority black women. I haven't seen um, a Caucasian or anyone else with locks. And like I said, I've even been inboxed and told that I am out of regulations, but I've never had anyone in my unit tell me. So yeah, and it's a bunch of people in the military with locks. So basically, if you want locks and you're thinking about the military, or you're in the military, bruh, get your locks, get your locks. That's what I say. Yeah, I really did this kind of quick. I think this was the quickest I've ever done it. I think last time though, I was just concentrating too hard and it was when I first started doing them, which was at the end of 2018. I've done them a couple times since then and in a sense, your outlook is gonna be the same. They're gonna be a bunch of pipe cleaners around your head and then once you take them out, you're gonna have some full curly sue curls going on. I just don't know how I like this black against my brown. I feel like you can see it too much, especially in these ones in the front, since they're so short. I have not done the pipe cleaners in my hair since I got this Bob layered cut done in my lock. So I don't know how long, I don't know if I'm, well, I know I'm gonna wear these a week because I don't wanna do anything to my hair. Hopefully I don't tangle them down before Friday. But if I do, I'll probably take it around like Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday. But hopefully I didn't leave any out. All right, y'all, this is the final look. I'll do a spin around for you guys. But I hope you all enjoyed this military talk video. If you have any other military questions for me, please leave them down below. I do wanna give you guys like a military video either every week or every other week, something like that. So definitely give me ideas and topics to talk about and I will definitely do that for you. Again, do not forget to hit the subscribe button. I know the subscribe symbol is already on the screen and also watch another video. I love you all. Thank you for the support. Check out my subscriber account from video to video. Make sure you watch more videos. I'll link them down in the description box and also comment down below any questions you will want to see me ask people in public for a social experiment that I am looking to do. If you want more information on that, I will link that video above as well, just so you can watch that and get the social experiment information as well as future videos. I love you all and again, thank you for the support y'all. I got to go. Bye, I will see y'all in my next video. <laughs>